looks fine. A righteous blows were a sideboard choice, possibly. Just decent versus our deck. A lot of our creatures were too toughness or lower. Swarm Guild Mage. Sure. Another white mana. We're seeing another uh, Donna Hope. Could be Selesnia splashing black, I guess. I want to have something that challenges the vine so I can actually attack. It's annoying to run Centipede out without a second creature there, but I did hit land this turn. Next turn is Generous Stray. Take two chances at a draw for land. Will I quit MTGA one day? Yeah, I'm sure I will. It's like asking, will the sun eventually burn out? Of course it will. Eventually. Question is the time frame, right? Implode, I guess. Two, two. I want to dig for lands. Don't really want my cat being a 2-3 though. I want my shade to be a 3-3. Great. So the answer is you got not in our lifetime is the answer, maybe. Wasn't that spell an instant? That? That's a sorcery. Ew. You just tap it, I guess. Get him for five. That's ballsy of him to be willing to risk the 2 2 to swing first. Like, I guess he's like, he's not going to block with the shade, which is accurate. But if I had. It's weird. He's main decking sprouting renewal too. Got to remember that. It's enchantment hate. And I've just showed him an enchantment. So he's going to keep it in there. He can block and sack. Oh, he's willing to give the cat a plus one. Alright. Not a terribly exciting target for that. I guess the vine blocks that, but I think if I were him, I would have just blocked, sacked, and drawn. Oh, I see. Sure. Build that graveyard up. I think we'll greed one more off the zoni. Opponent's graveyard. He's running black guards. Let's get rid of the big. Eh, that's a big threat later too. If you can recur it, seems fine. Do I want to run out harpooner? Yeah, I want to run out harpooner and then trade it. So, if I didn't have a zoni in hand, I would consider holding this till I see maybe a creature with flying or not. I think this is okay. Okay. Any new games on the horizon? Well, uh, Mechanicus releases tomorrow. We've got uh, a little bit later this month is both the Battle Brothers expansion and um, what's the other one? Artifact, all of which I want to check out. So yes, I think is the answer. Nice. He didn't have to trade that. He could have just uh, blocked it with Recluse. Give me those beetles. Hey, Eldritch. When's Mechanicus coming out? Tomorrow. Got to land so we can lot with Giant in a minute. So we have four, five, six. This would be seven. Three to play it. I could draw two off beetles. It's not terrible. Or 
Or I could draw one off a of beetle, play a district gate, and play the hired poisoner. That seems better. He has like main deck vapors and a Selesnia deck, it's gonna suck. I'm looking forward to Necromunda too, but it's a million million years out. I contacted them because I, I got into um what was it, Mordheim for a little bit, played a couple weeks of that, and uh contacted their PR after that to ask about uh Necromunda. And they're like, that's ah, very early in the development process, is what they told me when I reached out about it. Donnie. Sure. Alright. Why not attack beetles? Don't want them to die. I think they're better is just uh because I, I couldn't play my cards and draw more than one last turn. I guess maybe that would have been fine to just trade for one there. This didn't seem very exciting. Because I was going to sack it anyway, so might as well. Sure. All right, what do we have for mana sources here? Seven. Can run out a lot with giant. I'd like to get damage in. There's no way I'm going to get damage in. Can't attack with the operative. Attack with the hired poisoner. That's my attack, huh? Trade it for a 2-2 lifelinker. That is not terribly exciting. I guess it gets another creature in the graveyard. Maybe I'll be able to flood through in a minute. Actually, three more damage on him would look pretty damn good right about now. Sure. So he's at 16, realistically. Do I just want to run out Lotless Giant? Start attacking with it? Probably. Taps out for a zoni, which I'm never very excited about. Yeah, Glaive would be pretty big here. Is that another wall we've seen? And a Plague Crafter. Wonder if he's got other sacrifice synergies or just graveyard synergies. It's really weird to splash barrier of bones in a Selesnia deck. Like that just doesn't make fucking sense to me. I mean it's in there so he can sacrifice it to Portcullis Vine. Actually thinking about it, Plate Crafter's kind of a weird splash too. So I guess we're just seeing uh oh that's annoying. Five five. I'd love to be able to sacrifice here. Okay. Ocean Rain's a great draw. Especially since I just let that guy die. Makes me look really good. Yeah. Lurcher's pretty good too. Although only an 8-8 right now. Doesn't have enough power to kill this without the worm and I'm fine trading it for the worm. Should have played it before attacking. Not thinking my plays through clearly here. Oops, could add a 9-9. Didn't know about the Lurcher before playing Notion Rain, of course, but still. All right. So Tristani gained him seven life, created two chump blockers, each of which traded for one of my creatures. It's pretty unpleasant. 
He'd be totally out of this game without Tristani right now. Do I want to just swing with everything next turn? No, he just eats my beetles. I have plenty of playable cards. I don't think I need to sacrifice one right now. You know it's mana efficient. It's a good card. Even a Pax Convoke is only 7 power. I guess he could flash in a Whisper Agent with his weird Abzan deck. I think I'll take that risk. Okay. Can I kill him next turn? 8, 10, 13. Need to play out a little bit more power. And I want to be able to sacrifice still. So, that guy over the dowser. I kill him right now anyways. I have 14 power on the board. So, if he does not have removal, he's dead. And if he does have removal, I want to draw the card off of it. 16 power for me. So, I don't think I need dowser there. When do you splash, splash Tristani or Barry Bones? Right, so he's... You're suggesting he's playing Golgari splashing white. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense for what we've seen. The mana order screwed uh, threw me off. Am I making black green work? Falling where the draft brings us. He's still dead if he kills the Zoni. He's got to kill the assassin. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah, and Rosemane. We forgot about fucking Rosemane Centaur. I guess maybe he's got a bunch of shield mates. All right, did we see 1-1s? One no, we saw Tristani for making 2-2s. Two did we see blockers for flyers? We did. We saw that stupid recluse spider that's going to shit on bats all day. Not very excited about that news. We see flyers of his own? No. Did we see enchantments? No. Did we see enchantments? No. We saw him giving sacrifice synergies too. Is Dart worth something? Tristani's 4. Centaur's four. Not really. Ceratok might be worth something, though, in this one. Has just something to trade off with, like, Rosemane beating the crap out of me early. Uh, anything else we'd like to get rid of? Death Touch seems very good. Oh, we Harpoonered something. Did we Harpooner something? I don't remember if we Harpooner something. These seem okay. Think I can run with this? We're two and one right now, I believe. What's with my opponents getting good ass mythics? Um, I don't know. We haven't seen that many. We saw the planeswalker last game, I guess, and Tristani, or last opponent, and Tristani, this opponent. It's not been that many. Don't we have a mythic? Don't we have like a Zoni or something? Foragers over Ceratok. I don't think so. I mean, maybe. Faster the Ceratok is the upside of that. And Centaur, the reason why Rosemane Centaur is scary is it's when you accelerate it out. Otherwise, it's just a body and it's a body annoying. But it sucks. One more land, I could keep this hand, but I can't. Don't have black mana, can't play that. Don't have anything on two to play, even if I did get a land. So that's got to go. This hand's pretty bad. Lurcher's not good till later. Maybe I should have kept the mana to get Dowser out. A dead card too so we're really looking at three lands and two cards opponent mole one he might have so that's helping with the rose mains right so if you had shield mates that's what you're talking about all right so kind of annoying i'm taking at least two from the shield mate more likely four or six i probably will trade with that with my shade i have a four or five after ouch dude and that's also splashing four huh he's had that in two or three both games He has a white mana source already. Doesn't matter what I trade for here. Or rather, it doesn't make me want to trade for the shield mage. If he attacks with both, I'll block uh, guild mage. Yeah. Well, that's a tough decision. Do I just give him shade or do I take two? I guess I take two. It's pretty unexciting. Shade of his own. Are you sure he's still splashing for white? I guess Golgari. Flashing white still makes sense with these cards. 
2 2 Lurcher is no good. Need the shade to pump and block. And we'll run out Douser next turn. I'll try to eat his shade if he attacks with it. I don't think he will, though. Another 2 2. Alright, this is a very def different deck that we're playing against over here right now. Another land. Have we just drawn literally all lands plus Donna Hope? I think we have, right? We kept, we had Dowser, Rhizome, and Shade in our opening hand. All right, well, it's certainly limiting my options right now when every card is just another land. And we're gonna start running into trouble in a minute here because the Swarm Guild Mage can activate on five. And that's super bad for us. No, Shade was an opening hand. All of his creatures do shit too, right? Build Shade becomes a 4-4. Dissident becomes a 4-4. Guild Mage gives them stuff stuff. Like, meh. So our Lurcher becomes a 4-4 after this. So if he attacks with everything, I trade with um, Shade. Uh, yeah, I didn't think he wanted to attack with that. Oh, he does. a great pickup like super top tier i can kill his shade off now and still have lurcher to block his dissident like that's fine now we just need to top deck something that isn't massive amounts of land man sure was nice to draw a non-land card that impacted the board that felt nice all right so next turn i'm fucked because i can't block tristani Or can't block the dissident rather. Had a dead weight. Okay. I think we're pretty dead here. I don't see coming back from this. Three five seven. Kills Rustani. Take take a million, lose my blocker. Is a 1-1, one, one. I go to 3. He's got a 2-2, two, two, a 1-1, one, one, a 1-1, one, one, and something that has to be blocked. Can I survive from that? I don't think so. Is blocking the 2-2 two, two any better? I save myself 1 life. It's not any better. Alright. Does he have a combat trick as well? That's the way to do it, man. The bounty of might follow that up. Just curve out perfectly with all your fucking mana as white, green, black, three colors, casting shades, Tristanis, and the rest of it that are all relevant along the way. Sure. Um, we're going first this game. I'm putting an imp in. Kind of want a fucking 1 4 2. Uh. Maybe we do want foragers. Four or five seem relevant. Giant seems hopeful. Do we want like another blocker just to deal with the swarm of tutus? Maybe. We took something good over might. I don't remember what we took. We took something good. Oh, harpooner. Harpooner's been amazing, dude. No, Ocarina's assassin's not a bomb. Ah. Uh, I just want the Saratok, honestly. Is this 41? No one saw that. Too, too much work to think about what I want to remove here. I think Okran Assassin is maybe a bomb and sealed, honestly. Like, it's like super strong there. It's okay here. black mana source but a district guide in hand we'll keep it going first 
have our white mana source though, so I can search for black ones. This is interesting. We haven't seen much in the way of flyers for Harpooner. I think I just run it out and start attacking. I think, don't think I've seen that anyways. Just trying to remember. Also interesting. Could run out Glaive, get in for damage here. Not terrible. Not as good as District Guide, but still okay. Get to deadweight that. He's got a lot of targets I'd rather deadweight than this. Guild Mage. Uh, the Guard. The uh, Dissident, rather. The Shade. Those are all much better targets than this. Could also just block with the guide. Prefer to trade district guide for shield mate, but he might just be using it for convoke. It's tough to say. I don't think Glaive is quite good enough. Not sure why he wants to trade that. He is Convoke and I don't. And I have Graveyard Synergies and he doesn't. So it seems weird to him, him want to do that. But I'm totally okay with it. So I could Deadweight plus Poisoner. Or I could Deadweight plus uh, Guild Pack. Or I could run out Donna Hope here. All of them are pretty good. I think I like this. Get him for three. Start pressuring him. His late game's a little bit scary. I wouldn't mind getting some damage in before he can just kill me anytime he wants from 10. It makes designing blocks incredibly hard if he's got a Bounty of Might in his deck. He does have, what's it called? Shit, that uh, three mana kill artifacts or enchantments. Maybe he'll get wasted on Glaive, then I'll get Donna Hope out. We'll see, it looks like he has it, because otherwise he wouldn't be mousing around it. He may be considering if he wants to take the damage and let me pay three for it. Looks like that's a yes. Pretty good pickup for us though. Can play Hope Poisoner and Equip Gate. Not an instant, so I have options for blocks here. Getting a little low on cards. I'm a bit worried about this Donna Hope because I, I, I have him on that uh, Convoke thing that he had, the one that destroys enchantments or artifacts. He probably is pretty incentivized to play it this turn since I have an equipped Glaive that's beating the crap out of him. But still, seems a weird attack. Ah, makes sense now. Okay. So it didn't matter. Both my creatures were dying either way. So I don't have seven mana. Prey upon. It's interesting. So I can't next turn Donna Hope. So the problem is one might white mana source. I can never cast Donna Hope and create a token on the same turn. So I do want to get them out in the other way. I do have six lands though. There's a chance I draw a land. The problem with running Donna Hope here is uh, if he draws something or it has a fight creature. Fight creature is pretty bad too. Like the Indrik. Haven't seen Indrik in his deck. No. I think I'm just on equipping it. Also, could have Burglar Rats. We have no idea what he's playing in his abs and deck. I'm getting a little paranoid about my Donna Hope over here. There's his sixth land. There's Indrik. 
Who played around that? We haven't seen it. I know equipping makes fighting better for me. That's why I did it. But the option, the other option was play out Donna Hope. All right, feels good. Okay. Feels fucking good. All right, bad news here though is if he has, if he's been holding his stupid removal card, then I get fucked by that. But that does not. That's not that big a threat. All right. Could create the token and equip it up. Could equip the equip and draw. Might be better. Don't really want to take a seven. He starts attacking. I'm going to swing back and kill him. I think I'd rather equip. Like to start drawing cards, but I'll race right now like this. It's a lot of damage, and if you can remove my tokens, it's pretty bad, but if I can just start healing, we're in good shape. Shouldn't have played land. Could draw a guild gate. It's pretty decent. Can't create a token with that, but it's another life linker. It blocks shade. Doesn't really block shade, but it's another creature. So I can block shade with the 4 1, then transfer it over to blood operative. I think that's okay. Just not block two if he attacks and kill him next turn. It's a thing. All right. If we had one more land out, I did choose that one turn to protect Donna Hope with the forest, and we haven't been able to catch up on land since. So at least I think that's true. So we might be behind one land that way. We are flooding pretty hard. I don't know, pretty hard. We're, ha we're flooding moderately hard, but we have a lot of value cards here. Can't attack here. Oh, he's got Bounty of Might, right. Do we die to that? One, two, three, four, five, six. He plays that. All right, so nine and six is 15. So it's exact lethal. All right. Trade the Lurcher away would have been an interesting play. I didn't actually see it, quite honestly. Midnight Reaper and Shade. Oh no, the Shade was already there. Midnight Reaper to the graveyards are super weird here. All right, do I need more value off a Notion Rain play here? I think I just need chump blockers and drawing, right? So it's three to play the cat, four to create the token, and two to draw, so that's perfect mana. Okay. You can definitely die to top deck uh, bounty. Never let it go through again. Cat does five right now. Assassin's pretty good too. I like getting in for five, creating a blocker. So what is it to equip? We have five, nine, potentially 10. It's three to equip, 
four to create a token that's seven ten with the okran assassin all right i have to play the untapped land to play all that don't get to draw i guess the cat is untapped too it's still Take it down. Another Donna Hope game. Donna Hope, Glaive of the Guild Pack, doing work. Yeah, there, there was a turn where I could have dual blocked the ride the Lurcher, but the Lurcher doesn't have trample. I mean, in retrospect, of course, it was better not to have because he had Deadly Visit and my next creature would have died and then we'd never have a creature to equip onto with the other thing, but maybe tokens would have been enough for it. We can only generate one token a turn because we only have white mana. And the shade would still be there, and the shade lets him saturate his mana. So I'm not sure about that, but I didn't think about it at the time as an option. So we'll see. All right, guys, quick break, and then we'll go play our next game. See you guys in a second. 